Okay, 06 Jeep Wrangler. Diagnosing a abnormal powertrain noise here. So I got my helper in the Jeep. All four wheels are off the ground. Go ahead and put your foot on the brake. Keep it on the brake. Push the button and put it in drive. Okay. Just leave it. I'm going to tell you when I tell you to touch it, bring it up to that 1200, no, 1250 RPMs. Okay. So we're in gear. We're at 750. It's in two. It's just in two-wheel drive right now. No abnormal noise. All right, bring it up to 1250. You hold it though. Alright, so what we're looking at here is the dial indicator. I'm on the right passenger side. I'm going to go over to the left side of the axle, or left side uh, rear wheel, and push the axle this way. And you'll see how much this axle pushes to the right. So let me go do that right now. Okay, I'm going to push on the axle towards the right outside. All right, that should have been caught on film. So what I'm getting is about five sixteenths of an inch, which is a lot. We shouldn't have that kind of movement. So what's happening here is when I push the axle on the right side to the left, that axle's pushing to the left. Push the left axle to the right, it slides that way. So the carrier bear bearing here in the center on the differential, I'm thinking something's going on right there. That's something's bad. So let's drop the cover. Let's take off the pumpkin cover. You know, drain the fluid, take that off, and let's look inside there and see what's going on with those bearings. All right, so I got a catch pan under the pumpkin here, a differential, and I got a 13 millimeter. This is the tag here with all the uh, axle gear ratio information on it. So we'll take this off and take a look at it once I get it off here. I'll clean this up and we'll be able to see what, uh, what exactly the gear ratio is and stuff. Alright, so I got two bolts at the top that are loosened up, but they're still in there to hold the pan so it doesn't fly off here. I mean the cover. Got my pan below. Down here, I've got a small uh, scraper blade. And I'm just going to pry this open and we'll get it open and uh, we'll see what the, what's going on. go. All right, I'm going to pull this. Start loosening it up. I can feel it's getting loose. Should start dripping any minute. Here it goes. It'll bleed. Let's see how much chaos is uh, helping us out today. Man, that gear well is nasty. Look at that stuff. Woo! It's shiny. It looks like silver paint. Man, is that nasty. And it stinks. All right, I got the cover loose. Let's pull it off. There's some more goo coming out. Oh boy, 
somebody's been in here. Look at this shit. Somebody overloaded this. It's silicone. Look at this crap. Look at all that metal. Okay. Oops. Carrier bearings. Wow. I think the pinion's okay. Can you guys see that? The carrier right here, from here to here, is completely. I'm turning the axle. I'm, turn, I'm, I'm moving the uh, axle with my left hand. It's just jumping all over the place. And I see a ton of play over here. I'll get the camera in tighter on this carrier bearing. There's one here and there's one here, which you probably can't see. I'll get you a shot of that. But it's jumping all over. Both of them are shot. This one on the, this side here, this carrier, let me show you, is, is done. That shit is toast. Jesus. Get a shot right here. This is the uh, bearing cap. And look right in here. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. I need to get my other flashlight probably. But here, I'm going to twist on the axle. Look at this. I don't know if you can see that jumping around in there. I mean, wow. Look at this. Look at this shit. Here, look at this. Oh boy, did you hear that? Look. Pieces of bearing. Oop. Oh, that's not good. Damn. This thing been clunking for a while. Look at all this metal. Holy smokes. Sitting down here underneath the uh, ring gear. Well, I guess I can fish it all out when. Uh, I guess I'll fish it all out when the when the pinion when the uh, differential comes out. Look at this! Holy smokes! That that bearing self destructed. Okay, so here are the spider gears. There's four of them here. One here, one there, top and bottom. And this pin in the center holds all that together. Your axles come in on this side and on that side. So what we're going to need to do is there's C-clips on those axles. We'll pull the clips out, slide the axles out. We'll take off these four bolts it, which hold these bearing covers, caps on, and uh, we have to yank this out of here. This is total garbage. Alright, so here's what you don't want to see when you drain your differential. Those are the roller bearings right there. Sliding in the metallic sludge. Some hack overdid it with all the RTV that was in here before. Look at this. That's ridiculous. What I need to do now is remove this pin and for that, I used a quarter inch and it's a uh, 12 point. I don't know if you can see that. It's not a six hex, it's a 12 point wrench. Put that on the end of that bolt right there and loosen that up. So I got that loosened up so that you can remove this bolt and then that's, this bolt right here will slide out, the retainer. Okay. So you can see me, I'm sliding this bolt. That's out now. 
It's got that 12 point. We'll put that aside. And now I'm going to rotate this carrier. Get this out of the way. I'll rotate the carrier so that I can slide this pin right here out through the other side, through the top. Let me spin that for you. Let me spin this so we can get to that part. It's starting to drop out over here a little bit. And then get it out this side. There we go. Okay. All right, I spun it. You can see it's dropping out. So I took this bolt out, and then this slides out. Just like that. Okay, and you can see which direction it goes. There's a flat spot right here, right where my thumb All is. All right, now I got those spider gears turned. I'm gonna push this axle in a little bit. Oop, you saw the pin, or you saw the C-clip just fell out. Yeah, I hope you saw it. Should have, here it is here. So that means that axle's ready to slide out. So I'll pull that one out and we'll get the other one out. Now I'm gonna pull this axle out. And I want to be careful when I get these splines out at the end here that I don't mess up the seal that's behind this where the bearings are, the outer bearings. I'm just going to guide this out nice and gentle. I'm probably going to replace these outer seals anyhow. And here's the axle, there's the splines right there on the end and that's where that clip sits in, that C-clip right here that holds it in. All right, I'll set this aside, let's get to the next step. All right, so that's out. Now let's go get the axle out of the other side. I'm gonna put that uh, centering pin back in so the spider gears don't fall out all over the place. Then we won't have to chase those. So let me get to that, I'll take that out and then I'll get to the part where we remove those two bearing caps. We'll move the carrier out and we'll see, see how ugly it is. What's up, man? I'm in the middle of making love to your rear end. Oh, all right. Let me get this out. Doesn't look healthy. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, this is good stuff, man. By the way, I'm filming you right now, so. Well, you're not on film, you're just being listened to. Hey, Mr. Sabotage is here. <laughs> What's up? Uh, what do you think, man? I'm getting ready to pull the left side axle out and then we're going to pull this pumpkin out here and we're going to see the real deal. How's that sound? Because uh, once I get this axle out, I just take these four bolts here. These are the, these are the carrot. Now see this? This shouldn't be happening here. See all that? Yeah. That's that clunking. Let me pull this axle out. It's ready to go. Yep, that's it. Dude, these rims are beat down too. What is? These rims. That rim's bent. I checked it. You see that? Um, you see that gauge over there by the WD-40 can? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's uh, that's a runout gauge there, and that thing had like twenty-six thousandths of an inch run out that wheel. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a little hard to tell because the axle's bouncing around, but I could tell you it was. It's bent. It's got a bend. I don't know about this, uh, the left side here. I wonder if I'll just take that ring and swap with the spare. Now these two bearing caps have to go back a certain way. And they're already stamped at the factory. There's an A here. Upside down A matches the upside down A on this cap. And this A is sitting horizontal, matches this horizontal A here.
the battery died so you guys didn't see me actually yank this thing out so there were two I think last you saw there were two main or two bearing caps so I removed these bolts there's two bolts and then that cap comes off they're stamped see there's the A which matches it was actually in there like this upside down so that will match on the right side then there was a spacer that sits here so take that spacer out then there's the bearing race which is this that's what the bearing rides in right in there that looks it looks okay there's a little bit of pitting not the best but it wasn't too bad and then you got the bearing on the carrier here well if we go to the left side you know pull the bearing cap off and uh, when I did all that junk spilled out the bearing was completely shot there's the race if I, can, I can't pop it out with one hand let me see there it goes so this is the race uh, I'm not sure if you can see in there where my thumb is it's pretty bad see how that looks well there's the spacer and here's the actual carrier now this should look like this with the bearing on it. It's gone. This is what was left. This actually it cracked. This is the inner part of the bearing. So it completely spun on the hub. And I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but there's probably at least an eighth inch groove right down in here. It's completely shot. This should be smooth. I'll show you when I get the replacement. Um, what it should look like it definitely shouldn't look like this down in here so that's toast so they got new bearings coming new carrier we'll put new spider gears in these seem to be okay but for the price might as well replace them I already got the ring off let me show you guys how I did that that's pretty easy 